I'm Des Burgers, your host for Kent Folk or Skin Folk! <laughs> We've got kid folk, we've got skin folk, let's go! Woo! Give me Desiree, give me Tish. Oh my mic, oh Jesus. How's everybody doing today? One, behind, one hand behind your back, make sure you're speaking directly into the microphone or people will not be able to hear you. Woo, this is gonna be a rough one. Name a drink found in black households. Strawberry. <laughs> Kool-Aid. Strawberry what? Kool-Aid. So what happens if they get it? Then they, we go just pass or play. We go play, 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 play. play, play. Woo! Get out of here, loser. What a loser. All right, Cassandra, how are you today? I'm well, how are you? You want to tell something about yourself? I'm just blessed. Woo! 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 Oh, anyway, <laughs> they would drink found in black households. Water. Oh, Jesus Christ. How do we be? How do we buzz them? Eh. All right. All right. You want to introduce yourself? I'm going to say ginger ale. Can you? I say introduce yourself. <laughs> black people don't follow instructions. My name is Nate. All right. Anything you want to tell us about yourself? No. <laughs> now, Nate. They would drink found in black houses. Ginger ale. Ginger ale. And one more wrong, and the kid folk got a chance to steal. He doesn't know what's in a black. He is black. Aren't you black, Edward? Yes. So he 50% knows what's in there. Edward, you, oh, introduce yourself. My name is Anwar. Oh, God. <laughs> name a drink found in black households. Iced tea. Yes! Hey. My production is saying no. That's a lie. My production is saying no. All right, Kinfolk team, you guys have a chance to steal all of their one point. <laughs> Name a drink found in black households. Grape soda. Hold on, wait. We have to convene. They said grape soda. It's under review, guys. You guys get the point. Okay, I'll read the answers. Oh, my God. The answers were Kool Aid, Tampico. Fruit punch, grape drink, and milk three days past his espresso. Grape drink? You can't do a survey and find Tampico in no black woman. Tampico is black. Edward, did you drink Tampico? Maybe. I don't even know what it is. Kimbo, give me Jari. Give me Cassandra. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Name a black celebrity that got canceled, but we still kind of like him for real. I think that was you. That was her. She hit me on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, you can't even. Uh, you got a time of production? Uh, eh, 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 because you, why you press it? <laughs> she pressed it. You pressed it. Go. R. Kelly. Go. R. Kelly. R. Kelly's on there. Would you like to play her fast? Play. Woo! Play. They were black celebrity. They got canceled, but we still kind of like them for real. Will Smith. He cheated. He cheated. I cheat. Cause that wasn't supposed. That was supposed to be a hard one. Name a black celebrity that got canceled, but we still kind of like him for real. Chris Brown. No, that's a good one though. That should have been on here. Should we give her a point? I told you not. I oh, it ain't on here. I saw. I tried. That was cool though. So, and next, name a black celebrity that got canceled, but we still kind of like him for real. You had all these people to think. Uh, so what you was? She taking too long. That's an end. That's an end. All right, y'all got two strikes. If y'all get one more strike, that gives a chance for the skin folk family to steal. Desiree, it's all or nothing here. Because if you get an ant, your family will be disappointed in you. Name a black celebrity that got canceled, but we still kind of like him for real. <laughs> Say it a little loud. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Oh, that was all there. <laughs> Black celebrity that got canceled, but we still kind of like him for real. I'm gonna say Trey Songs. Why would Trey Songs have got canceled? Because he's a rapist. Now nah, I feel bad for trying to say he's not on here. Should we just give her the point? Or? All right, that's three strikes. That gives the, the what do y'all again? Skin folk family a chance to steal. Name a black celebrity that got canceled, but we still kind of like him. Bro. For I, got real. Real. I got y'all, bro. I got y'all. I got y'all, bro. 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 I'm gonna go with Bill Cosby. Good answer. Good answer. That was a really good answer. That was on there! That was on there! Woo! So you saw 
stole all their points, which was. So you got three points. Yay! So the current score for this round's game is three to one. Yeah! Let's see how this plays out, guys. Right after a word from this week's sponsor. Nephew, yeah, that shirt, I like it. My windbreaker is from Burger Joe. What's a, what's a bunny ambassador? A bunny ambassador. It means having more than you need so you can share with others. And an ambassador, it's like when you represent something like I represent having more than I need. So I yeah, that care. sounds really retarded. But however, it does look pretty stylish. And trust me, I ain't no stylish. You know, you really shouldn't say retarded. Yeah, well, your mom shouldn't say she loves you because <laughs> she's lying. You can just go to Burger Joe Shop if you want one. <sighs> okay. Oh, God. Give me Calvin. Give me Nathaniel. Let's go. Let's go. Name a movie that if you've never seen before. <laughs> what? I don't even got it. I don't even got to hear you. Know what I'm saying? All right, so what is this? You got to answer. No, no, you got the answer. Minister Society. Oh, did he read it? Yeah, yeah I was all there. I was like, okay. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, Ann Whistle. Are you black? Why yes. You How much? That's not all the way. Hey, all right. Right. Name a movie that if you've never seen before, you ain't black. Mm -hmm. Just say something now. I'm gonna have to get it go on. Baby boy. Oh, dang, that's on there. Oh, that was good. Oh, 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 oh. All right, next. You want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Maja. All right, Maja. Name a movie that if you never seen before, you ain't black. Love and basketball. I gotta be honest, baby. I wanted to put that one on there, but uh, it didn't. It didn't. It's cool. Hey. Hey. I said. We was like talking about it. The numbers didn't add up. I'm sorry. Name a movie that if you've never seen before, you're probably not black. Color purple. Dang, that should have been on there, Thomas. You almost with the bag with that one. That's really bad. You are the whole time. Oh, black. That's two X's, y'all. So if you guys get one more X, that gives the Kim Folk side a chance to steal. Cassandra, the team is depending on you. Okay. Name a movie that if you've never seen before, you ain't black. Boys in the hood. Boys in the hood. You heard. You heard. You heard. All right, Dave. All right, cool. Name cool. a movie that if you've never seen before, you probably ain't black. Let me think. You know what I'm saying? No. You're <laughs> supposed to be thinking. Eve's, Eve's by you. Eve's what? what? Eve's by you. <laughs> y'all confident, Kim Folk? How y'all feeling about this one? All right. All right, Kim Folk. Name a movie that if you've never seen it before, you probably not black. <laughs> yeah, say well, Steve. Say well, Steve. That's funny. Say it. <laughs> oh, Friday. Friday. Friday is on there. <laughs> the other answers were Bad Boys. That's what I was Set talking. it off. All right. Kin Folk has six. Skin Folk has four. Let's see how this one pans out. It's a close game. Give me DeAsia. Give me Ann Whistle. Let's get to it. We asked several uncles named Earl wearing those sandals. You know, the ones, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Name an essential non-food item, non-food item you need to bring to a cookout. What's your answer? Cups. See, I knew they was gonna get, they was gonna say that. He said forks. No, it's not on there. So like, do you go again? We never been here before. Get a question. That's on there. Liquor. We gonna play. Y'all gonna play? How you doing out here in the Bay? We good. Your team a little whack, so you ain't got no, you know, game time yet. We had several uncles named Earl wearing those sandals. Name an essential non-food item that you need to bring to the cookout. Dominoes. Dominoes is on there. That was a good answer. That was a good answer. We asked seven. You know the question? Just say the question, girl. Just go ahead and answer. Non-essential, essential non-food item you need to bring to the cookout. What you bringing? To go plates. Tupperware. It no, on it's not on there. Why? Why? You know. Tupperware. Who comes to a cookout with no to go play? And we talking about black people because he ain't black. He ain't black. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are we? Go to the win. So when we come to the cookout, what non-food item is you bringing? He need them tongs to flip the the ribs. Need the tongs. Okay, because I feel bad and this, no, this question no, was no. controversial. No, I'm not getting a point. Just listen. Let me finish. Because I, I want 
want to give y'all a hint because this question no, no, was no, controversial. No, no, no. We got it over here. We don't, don't give no hint. I need to, so y'all know. Gotta get it from the mud. I'm ready. No, I just want to answer the question. All right, what you bring to the cookout then? I'm bringing some cups. You wrong. You should have took the hint. You should have took the hint. All right, skin folk. We asked seven uncles named Earl wearing them sandals. Mm -hmm. Name an essential non-food item that you must bring to the cookout. Mm -hmm. What is he bringing? Cards. Cards is on there. Yeah. Birds in the house. I'm gonna give y'all a hint. I was gonna let y'all know that it's non-accessories. We didn't put the accessories because there's too many to name. Cubs, plates, fork, spoons. That is too many. So I was trying to tell y'all that. Hey, we got cards, the grill, the speaker. Dominoes, the cooler or ice, and then alcohol. Oh. Ice. Them is all good ones. Exactly. Well, y'all was hating. Kim folks at six. Right. Skin folks is at seven. This is a very close one, guys. I'm excited to see how this pans out. Give me Nevea. Give me Maja. Let's go. Shake hands. Shake hands. Nevea. Nevea. That's awkward. <laughs> We asked 11 bougie hood rats, oh. name a brand that was practically made for black people. A clothing brand, y'all. Uh, brand? A clothing brand name. Nike? That's on there. <laughs> All right, Tish, we're back to you. We're back at our beginnings. We asked 11 bougie hood rats, half of them were crackheads, to be honest. Name a brand that was practically made for black people. FUBU FUBU is on there! Ah! Hey! Get it! Get it! I didn't think you were gonna say that one because you're not black! Name a clothing brand that was practically made for black people. Uh... Converse! <laughs> Alright, Nathaniel Smith. Name a clothing brand that was practically made for black people. Hmm... Baby Fat? Baby Fat is on there! Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Get it, get it, get it. Ed Wizzle, name a brand that was practically made for black people. Name it. <laughs> Don't say no bathing ape or nothing like that, <laughs> please. Gucci. What? Oh. <laughs> Bougie hood rats. You know what a hood rat is? No. It's not somebody that can afford Gucci. <laughs> That's two X's, y'all. If y'all get one more X, y'all give the Kinfo family a chance to steal. Do y'all X's? Why I gotta give so many instructions? We asked 11 bougie hood rats, name a brand that was practically made for black people. And what kind of black? We just black. said bougie hood rats. That was in the question. Just answer. Say any name. Adidas? No. All right. Kinfolk family. We asked 11 bougie hood rats, name a brand that was practically made for black people. Oh, what are you taking? What are you taking? Apple bottom. That is on there! Yeah. On the list we have Fubu, Nike, Apple Bottom, Juicy Couture, Baby Fat, and Rockaware. On the Kin Folk side, we got 11 points. With the Kin Folk side, we got about seven points. This is getting really close, guys. Give me Desiree, give me Tish. Let's go, guys. You guys gotta represent. Can I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. It's summer. Why do you have on a jacket and a sweater? Anybody have better questions? Name a job that black people do the absolute best. You she cleared it way before you. Why just put your hand in? Who hit it? Me. I saw your head. Cook. Cook. Thank you. I got that point. We're gonna play. I hit it first. Production. Who hit it? She hit it. Desiree. Yeah. You. Okay. What's your answer, Desiree? I'm gonna say cook. No. Wrong anyway. You said cook? <laughs> what's, what's the question again, sir? Neighbor job that black people do the absolute best. What? So why'd you answer the first time? You didn't hear the question. The, Just the go answer. before I give you wrong. She gonna blow it. <laughs> Next, that's that's time. What? You take it way too long. Come go. On, give an answer. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Sell drugs. Oh. <laughs> 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 All 
All right, production says y'all gotta go. Oh, my Lord. Give me Cassandra, Where give me Tajari. No, y'all got replaced. <laughs> Name a job that black people do the absolute. She didn't even ask the question. Basketball. Basketball is on there. Yes. Technically, it was athlete. Yes. Just to be clear, it was athlete. So yeah. no basketball, football, or anything. But that's very oh, go ahead, Calvin. I'm going to say a dancer. I'm giving it to him. I'm giving it to you. I'm giving it to you. Yeah, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. I'm gonna give it to him. That's on there. Name a job that black people do the absolute best. Like a social worker? Like. Oh my God. What's your fact? Trying to make careers. Name a job that black people do the absolute best. Sales, like retail. No. What'd she say? She said sales. All right, the Kinfo family has two X's. This is going to give us a dim. Y'all know how the game go. Yeah, they, I can't focus looking at them. I can't focus looking at that. All right, Desiree. Name a job that black people do the absolute best. Rap or like being an artist? Rap is on there. What do black people do the absolute best? I know it's not swim. Um, <laughs> boxing? Wait, no. That's athlete, huh? That's athlete. Error fail. You get it? Yeah. There's a shirt. Did you get a shirt, Jeremiah? It says error fail. <laughs> now I'm going to ask you guys the same question as the Kinfolk family. Name a job that black people do the absolute best. I'm going to go with my team here. Mm -hmm. They do nails really good. No. Ah! The actual answer was barber. So then we had coach, uh -huh. preacher was what y'all missed. 14 on this side, seven? Y'all still at seven? Yeah. Give me Calvin, give me Nate. Yeah. <laughs> you are halfway behind. Okay guys, we're getting a word for production. You're not gay anymore, but you want me to do? All right, love you too, Thomas. All right, so Thomas, <laughs> Thomas said these books are double. Get this money. You see this money? That's what y'all working for. That's $10,000, you understand that? It's not legal currency. <laughs> I use it the other day. Name a dance move that looks weird when non-black people do it. Oh, Which is? Now. Say it. I'm gonna go with Dougie. Dougie's on there. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Anwar. Anwar, so take the microphone. It looks weird when he do it. It looks weird when he do it. It only look half weird when he do it though. Name a dance move that looks weird when non-black people do it. Remember, this is for double points, so don't just support your family here. Stanky leg. <laughs> well, the stanky leg is on there. <laughs> Oh, Woo, go stanky lag. Name a dance move that looks weird when non-black people do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whip, nene. Whip, nene. That's it's on air. Name a dance move that looks weird when non-black people do it. Jerk. Thank you. Name a dance that looks bad when non-black people do it. The Running Man. The Running Man is on there. Name a dance move that looks weird when non-black people do it. Whoa. Uh, is the Cupid Shuffle on there? It is on there. Yay! All right, Ann Wizzle, you only have two X's and only two more answers left on the board. Question: Can he get a white pass? Can he get a break? no a break? Like, cause he come on now. No, you give him too much. I am. Don't take half of it. I know. Come on, give him a break. Sorry. Name a dance move. That looks weird when non-black people do it. It is early 2000s. They're doing it like that. What's that called? Oh yeah! Oh, oh, he got it. He got what? it. What's that? Oh one? no! no. no. The, 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 the folks. Okay, let's make an exception. If you can show me what it looks like, then then that counts. Do it on the beat. On the beat, though. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. If you don't get it in the routine, you don't go. Is it? Hey, hey, come on. It's the folks. It's the folks. No, 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 It's the folks. I'm gonna be honest. He wasn't on there, no way. We just wanted to see this. All right, guys, so they got three X's, so you guys have a chance to steal all their points. Keep in mind, these are for double the points, all right? Name a dance that looks weird when non-black people do it. The wobble. The wobble is on there! Let me tell y'all what y'all missed. The Tootsie Roll. 
Okay, okay, there's a reason. The question was not classic black dances. It was, it looks weird when non-black people do it. And all the new Girl. dances, they do on TikTok. So white people do them more than black people. Y'all got five questions right, so that gives you guys 24 points. Now we're moving into the fast money round. This is the ultimate decider on who takes home this $10,000. Dollars. The Kinfolk family is in the lead with 22 points, and the Skinfolk family is embarrassing themselves with seven points. But that's okay, because during this fast money round, they have an opportunity to catch up. Why? Because each individual answer is worth two points. They are allotted 15 seconds per card to get as many answers as they can. If they get all the answers on each card, that's a total of 12 points. 12 points. So with four cards in total, that gives each family an opportunity to get an extra 48 points. From the Kinfolk family, we're gonna take Deasia, and from the Skinfolk family, we're gonna take Nate. While is answering, Nate is gonna be outside in a secluded area, not being able to hear anybody. The timer's gonna start as soon as I finish reading the question, not before you start answering, okay? okay. Remember, you only have 15 seconds per card, so okay. think of as many answers as you can. Okay. Your best bet is probably to just blurt them out. Name a hair product that you'll find in any black person's bathroom. Jill. As many as you can. Oh, gel. Um, Product. Grease. Um, right. Spritz. She Wait, products as in like the brands? She might listen to the question. Three, two, one, and that's time. That was terrible. You got zero of those. Yeah. What's a saying you're guaranteed to hear from a black mom before you die? I'm not one of your friends. I'm not boo boo the fool. Um, stop oh, going God. in at my house. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. That's time. Next question. What's the seasoning you're guaranteed to find in any black household? Lori's, um, the Creole seasoning, um, garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, uh, la, 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 the seafood boiled crab uh, <laughs> seasoning. Um, three, two, one. Garlic salt. That was close. Last question, this is taking it home. We asked 10 aunties named Shirley. Name a dish that's a must have at any family reunion. Go. Greens, uh, ham and, uh, mac and cheese, uh, dressing, um, barbecue or ribs, um, sweet a potato salad, sweet potato pie. Um. Three, two, one, and that's time. Do we tell them the points now or after? All right, you got 11. So that's 22 points. That's 22 points. Oh, <laughs> dude, they got no chance, bro. They got 22 extra points on top of 24. They only have 46 points. I'll let you know right now, Deja did not do a really good job. But she tried her best, though. That's great. I'll have to throw it out there. She did score an extra 22 points on top of their 24. They're sitting on top of 46 points right now. It's double. Four cards. Each card has a, has a question. Answer as many as you can to that. So just throw out all the answers you can think of. But before we start though, Jesus. Name a hair product that you'll find in any black person's bathroom. Uh, let me get beeswax, got to be, um, Murray's. Oh, dang. Uh, Eco Gel, Grease, that's, that's on there. Three. Two, uh, one, that's time. All right, next question, next question. What's a saying that you're guaranteed to hear from any black mom before you die? Go. You better not touch that in that stove. Um, a hard head make a soft, no, nah, that's probably not on there. Wait, this is stupid. Going, eh? Hold on, let me think. I'm sorry. That, that one, no, nah, that was a terrible question. Three. Two. Oh, man, He's I'm, judging the question while you supposed to be answering bro, it. I'm, that's a, you I, see, this will be all the black question order at all. It's, that's dumb. What's a seasoning that you're guaranteed to find in any black household? Go. Salt, pepper, seasoned salt. Um, a rake. No, I don't rake it. What am I talking about? Garlic salt. Uh, cinnamon. That's not a seasoning? Three, two, bro, one. Y'all say cinnamon. That's not a seasoning? We asked 10 aunties named Shirley. Name a dish that's a must have at the family reunion. Potato salad, yams, greens, uh, chicken, macaroni, mac and cheese, uh, let me see, cabbage. Uh, Three, two, uh, one, that's time. All right, guys, as you know, we had $10,000, 8000 
$4,233. It's about $100 left for prize money. This was our first episode of Kid Folk vs. Kid Folk. So sorry if it was raggedy. They make their own rules up. Before moving into our sudden death round, our Kid Folk family had about 24 points. And our Kid Folk family had about seven points. After sudden death, the Asia championed the team with a total of 22 extra points. And Nate came through with an extra of about 12. So that makes our winners of this evening of the very first episode of Kinfolk or Skinfolk, the Kinfolk Squad with 46 points. How do you feel about this game? It's over and we won. How do you feel about winning? Feel real good. About to spend this money on some drugs. Just playing. How do you feel about losing, TT? I'm never going to win. I'm always a winner. In the name of Jesus, amen. I'm always a winner. How do you feel about losing? What are you going to do to now to prove that you're not a winner? Well, I don't know. Maybe I should have got some money. What are you going to do now because you didn't get any money? I got to get up for my black trivia. I didn't even know what Medicine Society was before I started dating.